some of the most rewarding and toughest times in my life have not been out working, you know, and making a career for myself. They've, they've been at home trying to figure out how to manage a, a situation or a, or a problem or, or be a good dad or give the right advice. And I just wondered if, if a picture comes to mind of when the world saw you as so successful and then you were still struggling and trying to figure out how to be a father or how to be a husband or... It's funny. Um, I was really blessed with uh, who I cooked up with, man. My wife, Sue, great mom. The girls are all turned out beautifully. I hold Sue largely responsible. Especially, you know, younger, you're, uh, you know, you're trying to, you know, make good movies and work with, you know, good people, and you're kind of in this, in this thing, and you're getting offers and you're reading scripts, and there's a, uh, there's a, uh, a momentum that's happening, and part part of uh, an aspect of that momentum is it's uh, very self-involved, you know, very self-involved, you know, and you, you can say I'm doing this. I'm making money so we can afford to, you know, live the way we want and the kids can go in these schools. So there's a great rationale for this yeah. kind of self-oriented feeling. But later on in my life, I remember I've cried with my daughters, you know, saying, oh, fuck, you know, what did I, I missed out. I missed out on so much, you know, Raise, you know, raising them, all those wonderful, you know, because the, the kids, everything happens so fast, man. Life's going by really fast, yeah. isn't it? And it picks up speed. And um, I try to do my best now, uh, and, you know, for, for several years now, to try to figure out little projects with my girls uh, that bring us together so we, you know, I don't know why we need reasons to be together, but it also, it helps, it facilitates yeah. it somehow. Yeah. You know, so with Jesse, my middle daughter, we play music, you know, all the time. We, you know, she opens for me sometimes and we, you know, you know, play music. That's kind of our connection. My eldest girl, Isabel, uh, we're making a, uh, a book, a children's book, she came up with a great title, Daddy Daughter Day. And so she wrote it and I'm illustrating it. So oh, that's fantastic. something we're working on. And my baby, you know, Haley, she's the only one who lives in Santa Barbara and she's a you know, wonderful interior designer. We work together on houses and that kind of thing. So I try to, you know, figure out things, you know, projects to do that bring us together. And so that just scratches that low, that feeling, you know, that uh, they're dropping the ball on their, you know, their childhood, not being around as much as I'd want, you know. Do you remember ever being on location and really, really noticing it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing really popped into my mind. That just shows you how self-involved I was, man. What but I can, re I can remember one, you know, time, uh, you know, Sue doesn't like to come and visit me on the set. The kids don't like it really much. It's not that fun. Uh, but I invited them to uh, come on the Lebowski, you know, big Lebowski set, you know, because uh, I thought, oh, this would be a fun scene. It's kind of the Busby Berkeley dude's dream, you know, with the, oh, the bowling the, alley the, and the, the, the girls with the bowling pin hats right. and all that. And, so the girls came and I put the bowling pin hats on them and all and I took a bunch of wide lux pictures of them and you know. And uh, now we're gonna shoot a scene and the scene that we were gonna shoot was when the dude goes underneath all of these bowling pin Corins, you know, these women with the bowling and looks up at their vaginas as I go by right. under their legs. I know? remember that scene. And well. I say, why the hell did I invite my girls and my wife to come for that particular scene? <laughs> I could not but I said, what was I thinking, man? So uh, I went up to the head bowling pin Corinne because we were about to do the scene and to kind of break the ice or to, you know, make it, you know, take the edge off the thing. I said, uh, see, do you mind if I take a photograph as I go underneath your leg? Yeah, that usually so breaks the ice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, they say, and she said, by all means, dude, kind of like that. I said, hmm, that's where. And I get on my little skateboard to be pulled through the legs like this. And I, you know, do my wide legs like that, and I'm about to say, "Oh, I gotta look up," you know. And I say, "Okay, I look up," and there, she has this 
tufts of pubes, man. They're just <laughs> coming out of her <laughs> leotard, just like, you know, I said, what? And I go, action. They're pretty, and I push my picture, and I go to the next one, and the next one even has more pubes, man. I go, oh my <laughs> God. And that uh, turns out that they were pulling one on the dude. They'd gone to the makeup man and got crepe hair and stuffed it in their <laughs> thing. And my wife and daughters, thank God, were in on it. Oh my God. But anyway, that popped into my head as you're asking. And that is the plot of Daddy Daughter Day. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But that would be good. That's Daddy Daughter Day too. Yeah, that's right. Daddy discovers pubes. Yeah. Oh God. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>